In collaboration with Miami-Dade College's School of Architecture and Interior Design and History Miami, the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archives maintains a website dedicated to encouraging awareness of Miami's architectural history and the stories that can be told from this perspective. This website, learningfrommiami.org, contains resources to help facilitate the study of Miami's buildings and how they have influenced the past and affect the present. Included are instructional lesson plans for K-12 classrooms, a guide to the unusual architecture of Opalaka, and a self-guided tour map with links pointing to Miami's historical buildings and locations. Fronting all of these architecture-related resources on the homepage of learningfrommiami.org are topical and timely blog posts, as written by Technical Archives Coordinator Ursa Gill. Miami doesn't always come to mind when you think of historical cities. Our cityscape has changed so drastically over a relatively short amount of time that it's almost unrecognizable. If you're wondering where to look for historical architecture, take a stroll in downtown Miami. All remnants of the city are all over the place. All you have to do is look up. We don't always focus on architecture. Sometimes we get nostalgic and revisit interesting people, fashion, roadside attractions, and past events. It's quite a challenge sometimes to find unique ideas for the blog. Most of my blogs are just happy accidents, like a posting of a historical building on my Facebook wall, or just browsing through old photographs on Pinterest. Or sometimes I'll be working on the digitization of a film and something will catch my eye. In Miami, real estate is a hot commodity and everyone wants property in the magic city. All of South Florida is full of architectural marvels, but developers are constantly demolishing historical buildings and replacing them with new ones, rather than adaptively reusing the architecture by repurposing old buildings. It also preserves the city's original architectural history. Here in Miami, we're just starting to practice adaptive reuse. Miami-Dade College has repurposed several antiquated buildings like the Freedom Tower, Kobeck Center, and the newly acquired David Dyer Federal Building. For all the long gone buildings, they live on in historical footage in the Wolfson Archives collections. The learningfrommiami.org blog is a great way to experience Miami and South Florida's architectural past via vintage footage and images. So take a look and maybe you'll learn something.